Technology Practices for Instructional Improvement. This is my reflective digital presentation for EDU 630 um, by Jessica Rowe. The first technology I'm going to talk about is Symbaloo. Symbaloo is a web mix website where anyone can create a mix of all of their favorite or most used websites. Websites. Symbolu offers many different design options to fit the creator's needs. It is a great resource for keeping frequently used websites and resources organized and easily accessible. It is also very easy to share with others and embed into web pages such as a school website. So Symbolu is um, I've used for a short amount of time just within the past couple of months for my uh, master's classes and um, after building my first web mix I realized how great of a tool it is um, not only for myself but this is an excellent tool that I can um, put on my students devices and computers um, to make it to make the different resources we use in the classroom easily accessible for them um, it's very easy to use you just click on the icon and it brings you right to the website um, so it's great for students and parents um, and it helps to keep the resources organized so it's easy for um, not only myself to locate but the students and it's also easy to share with colleagues there is a share button on Symbaloo um, making it very simple to share your web mix and give um, tons of resources to your colleagues The next technology tool I'm going to talk about is Powtoon. Powtoons is a video and presentation creation website. It makes presentations more fun and interactive for students to create or engage in. Um, there are multiple video templates to create presentations from, but they all are editable to tailor to the creator's needs. So Powtoons is very engaging um, for children. It's um, graphics, it's something they can visually see, you can make it silly, you can add music, you can make it fun. Um, it makes learning definitely more engaging for um, children. It is also a very easy um, tool to use as an educator. Um, the first time I used it during this course, I found it very simple to um, edit the video as I needed it to be um, and make it my own. And Powtoons can be used for multiple purposes. It can also be used outside of education. It can be used for personal reasons, and it can also be used in the business world. So um, Powtoons is a great resource for um, anyone, really, to use. The next tool I'm going to talk about is WebQuest. So a WebQuest is a kind of online lesson. Students are given a task and must use internet resources to solve the task. They can be made for any grade level and for any subject. So um, WebQuest is, I found more user friendly for older grades. I am a kindergarten teacher and I don't think this is something that my students would really be able to utilize in the classroom. Um, so when I made my WebQuest for this course, I did, um, in upper grade, um, I made a fourth grade web quest, and I think you know this is a tool that upper grades really could use as they have more experience with researching um, and finding things on the internet. Um, I found it a little bit challenging to create. The format was given to me, but I still um, found the template a little bit redundant um, and a little confusing. Um, some of the benefits of this tool is it does encourage student exploration and it allows for student creativity. So it lets students really drive their own learning um, and explore and acquire knowledge on their own. Um, one of the accessibility um, tools that I had found in one of our previous assignments was Voice Control by Siri. Siri is a voice control feature on Apple products such as the iPhone and iPad. Siri responds to voice activation and will do whatever you tell her to do, such as giving directions, looking up information, and dictating messages when the feature is enabled. Um, Siri is very user friendly to anyone with an Apple device. That is the downfall is Siri cannot be used unless you have an Apple device. Um, but she's very convenient. You press a button, you tell her what to do, and she does it. Um, and you can easily search the web and complete daily tasks um, using Siri. Another accessibility tool um, that I had found was VoiceOver by Apple. 
VoiceOver is another feature by Apple that is geared to aiding those who are blind or do not have the best vision. VoiceOver reads the screen, buttons, icons, and links. This feature must be turned on in settings, and many applications have this feature built into it. Um, I have never personally used the um, VoiceOver accessibility tool, but I would assume that it would be a tremendous help to those with disabilities. It makes using technology much easier, especially if they cannot see. Um, incorporating into classroom web pages to make all content accessible would be very beneficial um, to any stakeholders. Um, trying to gain information about your classroom or about the school. Um, I know in my county, we had to do an accessibility training and anything that we post on our class web pages has to um, be accessible to anybody reading it. So they have to be able to see it, they have to be able to listen to it, it has to be accessible to anybody that sees it. Another accessibility feature that I had, or tool that I had found is the audio accessibility by Apple. Audio accessibility allows um, for people with hearing impairments to connect their hearing aids with their iPhone or iPad. Only specific hearing aids are compatible, so when connected, the individual have higher quality audio. There is another feature called Live Listen that allows anyone with a hearing impairment to use the mic to help pick up conversations and sound. Um, I thought this tool was very cool considering I grew up with a friend who was deaf, and I think um, this thinking back to her and her um, disability, I really think this tool would have helped her um, as technology evolved, especially in the classroom. Um, so I really think that it would, you know, it makes people who are hard of hearing feel like they have um, the same opportunities and um, it's, it alleviates some frustration that they might have um, trying to use their phone. You know, hearing's already hard for them. So um, trying to listen to something out of a device sometimes is hard to hear for people that aren't hearing impaired. So I really think that this accessibility tool would make things much easier um, for those who do have a hearing impairment. Um, the next accessibility tool that I had found was um, Chrome um, in large text. And this is a simple feature on Google Chrome that allows text to be enlarged or made smaller by pressing um, specific keys. So if you press Control and the plus sign, it enlarges the text. And if you press Control and the minus sign, it minimizes the text. Um, I think this, this tool benefits any age group. Um, children who um, have a hard time seeing or maybe um, they can't, they need text to be smaller. This can even help older people who have a hard time seeing and need glasses for various reasons. So this really is targeted at any age group or any person. Um, it's easily accessible. It comes with Chrome. So it's not like you need a special software program to run it or a special device. Um, it, you can easily acquire this tool and it is compatible with any device that you have Chrome on. So the last tool that um, accessibility tool that I had found was Microsoft, um, the narrator with Braille. So this tool, narrator with Braille is a Microsoft tool that can be downloaded onto the computer. This tool downloads the Braille communication system. So those who are blind can type using a Braille keyboard and the computer will narrate what they're typing. Um, I have never used this tool before, but this is um, I think an amazing tool that was created. I mean, this literally allows anybody to use technology, whether um, they can't see, um, whether they can't hear, like all of these accessibility tools um, makes everyone equal um, and it embraces everyone's differences. Um, so this, the Braille system, um, it allows people who are blind to use technology, which is amazing because I mean, you would think that you would have to be able to see the screen, but this tool allows people who cannot see to use technology. Um, the only downfall is that it works with limited devices. And um, the last technology tool I'm going to talk about is YouTube. YouTube is a video sharing website. Anyone can create a free account and load videos to their channel. 
Um, there are settings to make your videos public or private. This video sharing website encourages collaboration through the commenting sections and allows people to share their videos with people all over the world. So there are so many uses for YouTube. As a kindergarten teacher, I know I use YouTube on a daily basis for um, read alouds, for counting songs, for sight word songs. I, you really can find anything on YouTube to support learning. Um, it's very accessible. All you need is internet. It's super user friendly. You just type your what you want into the search box and all the videos come up that relate to that. Um, you can find informational videos on there. Um, there are just so many resources on YouTube that can support anybody, not just teachers and learners, but anyone that's looking for information. And lastly, these are my references. Um, I appreciate you listening. Thanks.